Hello, thanks for joining me. My name is Stefan and I'm a primary school teacher from the UK. As a primary school teacher, one of the things I'm passionate about is teaching Shakespeare. And I've co-authored a book for primary school teachers about how to get to grips with Shakespeare in primary literacy. The book is due out later this year from the excellent David Fulton Publishers and it's called Teaching Shakespeare in Primary School, All the World's a Stage and it's available to pre-order now. On the 23rd of April, people celebrate the date of Shakespeare's birth and his death and you might be doing some Shakespeare related activities this term in school to mark the occasion. If you are, but you're not quite sure where to start, this video might be helpful. If you teach older primary school children, a brilliant play to start with is Julius Caesar. Now I know this isn't the obvious choice, but it's ideal if time is short because the whole play hinges on just one key scene, that's the murder of Caesar, and the, of course the moral dilemma it presents to an audience. If you don't know the story of the play, here it is in brief. The ancient Roman Republic was governed by the Senate. They're a group of corrupt, self-serving men. They were hungry for power. It was a very different time. Now, the great military general, Julius Caesar, has just returned to Rome a hero after victory on the battlefield. And some people in Rome are starting to call for him to be crowned emperor. Now, Caesar's very ambitious, but he's warned off this idea by his wife and a fortune teller who both foresee terrible consequences if he accepts the crown. Now, meanwhile, a group of senators, including Caesar's longtime friend Brutus, are so concerned by his rise to power that they plot against him and they assassinate him in the Senate building. It's an act that divides Rome and it pits Caesar's friends, murderers and the people of the city against one another. It's a brilliant story and there are some great adaptations out there to use with class. Now, yes, I know this play is quite political and it's a bit bloodthirsty. But here, Shakespeare is turning our understanding of heroes and villains on its head, and he's giving us a moral dilemma to contemplate in the process. Caesar is a murder victim, but also an aspiring dictator. So is he the hero of the play, or is he a villain? And if he is the villain, isn't then his murder justified? This is one of my favorite examples of Shakespeare's brilliance with designing complex characters for the audience to think about. So here are three really easy ways to bring this play to life with older primary school children. The first step is showing the children what's at stake for the characters. Now the story of Julius Caesar lands us in a defining moment in the history of the Roman Empire. That's the transition from republic to dictatorship. It's important to show here, start here sorry, to show the children what's at stake for the characters in the story. To split the class into two teams and set them a series of fun group challenges. That might be doing a jigsaw, passing a ball around the room in a, in a particular order, putting on dressing up clothes, that sort of thing. But there are rules to this game. One team can't communicate with each other and they have to take all their direction from just one person, that's the dictator. And the other team have to consult every person in the group about the best strategy before acting together. And we could think of them as the Republic. And when the children have completed the tasks, ask them to think about what these activities showed. So which team made the decisions the fastest? Which team made the wisest choices? If the team fails, who's responsible? And how did it feel not to have a say or to have your ideas ignored? This discussion about who should lead, how and why is central to understanding the motivation of the characters in the play. Then you're ready to go on to start exploring the play in more detail and you can do this by role playing the scene of Caesar's murder. So explore the moral dilemma surrounding Caesar's murder and act out the assassination scene in the Senate. If you've got time, you could also uh, explore the scene that comes before, where the senators plot against Caesar in Brutus's orchard. Now, once you've acted out this scene several times, discuss the motives of these honourable men for killing Caesar. If these people were put on trial, for example, how would they defend their actions? In particular, how would Brutus explain the need to kill his friend? If you really want to turn things on their heads, you could ask the children, would the characters have behaved the same way if they were women? 
Now break into small groups and act out the scene again. And this time, before each ta- uh, character gives Caesar a poke in the ribs, ask the children to speak aloud their reason for plotting against him. This is a really powerful activity, but if you're worried about the bloodthirsty nature of the plot, you could just ask the children to freeze frame the scene instead, tap them on the shoulder to get them to speak aloud the character's thoughts. And if you want to take it a step further, you could follow up with role on the wall character development or more drama by staging an actual trial of Brutus and Casca and the others. You could even have an appearance from Caesar's ghost. And then you're ready to move on to the third activity, which is designing election posters. As this play is all about politics, fairness and governance, you could tie it into your PSHE or citizenship work. Now at the outset of the play, it's noted by one of the characters that Caesar's image is starting to appear everywhere in Rome. So a fun, short writing activity might include the children writing election campaign posters featuring themselves as candidates and staking their claim to be a better, fairer leader for Rome, for your school, even for Prime Minister. Think about the lessons that can be drawn from the play that tell us about what it makes Uh, What makes a good leader? Maybe a commitment to fairness, a listener, being responsible, telling the truth. These posters would make a great display and you can use them then as the basis for the next project. Making a film, writing a new version of the play, a community project or something else entirely. And those were three easy ideas for introducing your class to Julius Caesar. If you like this video, please share it. And if you would like to comment, please keep it kind and constructive. And you'll find more ideas like this for teaching Shakespeare in primary school in our forthcoming book, Teaching Shakespeare in Primary School, which is due out later this year. And you can get updates and more ideas like this by following me on Twitter. Thanks for listening.